how does transference work obviously um again the concept was first uh, originally noticed by um, freud and jung in their therapeutic practice and they saw that uh, certain patients had certain reactions to them and vice versa there were some patients that reacted very positively to them and they had very positive um, outcome in therapy whereas some patients had a very negative reaction to them and they had very negative outcome in in therapy and um, so freud started to think of this idea of why certain patients um, react better uh, to him than other patients and vice versa that's how the concept of transference was born um transference can be positive negative or sexualized in nature for example in terms of sexualized transference falling in love is a common problem between a male and female therapist and client or vice versa and um, there's a lot to read on this i'll tell you about it at the end of the session and if it's a positive projection like freud said then the therapist client um, uh, relationship is maintained and therapy works quite well so you you actually see that the projection helps because the the client um, essentially is able to tap into the good self and the good parts of her relationship with the parent and project it onto the therapist now what that does is that gives the therapist a good feeling about the client and he feels or she feels that yes this client i can i can do something i can i can help this person that's where you know that the good the client therapist um a relationship has been has been um you know uh, it's 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 uh, taken you know birth and it started and and you can go forward from there now what happens in the case of the transference is negative uh then it is up to the skill of the therapist to recognize that the transference is negative and it at this point it becomes very important to maintain uh, the client therapist relationship if the therapist is not adequately trained then in such cases the the cases are normally transferred to other therapists so what happens is um you know like i said transference is imagine that you're projecting uh, a good bad or a sexualized feeling that you had towards your parent to your therapist now if it's a negative transference if i have the skill to recognize that you are projecting negativity onto me that you have with your parent and i can deal with it as a therapist i can find ways to deal with it then this relationship can go forward and that transference will eventually go from a negative transference to a positive transference and then your client will see much more improvement in their symptoms however if i am not a skilled therapist then i will not be able to recognize that the transference is happening and it's a negative transference what i will also actually feel is an irritation towards this particular client and i don't know why and um, i i i will feel inadequate i will feel that i'm not able to take this client because this client is is complaining about things which i don't understand things like that so you will have a very negative experience with this client now, if you are not skilled enough to catch that um of course here it's important to remember that there are some cases where it is not transparent the client is actually um difficult so um but it's the skill of the therapist to see how how they can handle it if the therapist is not adequately trained then in such cases obviously then the cases are transferred to other therapists one uh, classic example is for uh, if you are a therapist who has bad relationship with your father or mother for example and let's say you as a therapist uh, you were abused by your father uh, your father used to hit you and you get a client who who a father who who beats up his wife and his daughter so uh, this is particularly triggering for a, for a therapist because the negative transference would immediately start because the the father would come in and say you know what my wife and my daughter don't listen to me and it pisses the hell out of me i i feel like killing both of them it would immediately trigger in you the transference you would feel that negativity being projected onto you and um, you as a as a as a child have had experience with an abusive father so it would trigger all those negative feelings that you as a therapist have dealt with but obviously you're a human being you're not a robot so they would come to the forefront and you would feel that you know i can't take this case because i i can't feel sympathy i can't understand this man and uh, in such cases the relationship would fail but if you are very skilled and you're very strong as a therapist you could take on the case and try to understand uh, in the process also understand your own father and understand this client of what triggers them why did they abuse were they abused themselves as children and maybe you could develop 
eventually a positive transference and sympathy and then the therapeutic relationship would work so this is a classic example of a negative transference where a certain situation that triggers you um, will trigger negative feelings in you towards a certain client mm-hmm.